Remember what I said about taking opportunities because you never know what may happen and who you may meet. <laughs> I'll let you guys know a little something that happened today. Could you guys know that I do not do podcasts on Saturdays? Rarely do. My apologies, we got to do the podcast yesterday on August 4th, 2017. Part of the reason, got home. <laughs> And the brother had to do uncle duties. Uncle duties is you watch over your niece or your nephew. So my nephew was over here. <laughs> and um, we was watching then Gaijo and, you know, brought up my Legos that I have saved and everything. This is my nephew's at the age where he can play with Legos, you know, brought them out for him so he could have fun. And I have some the Gaijo Legos because I like ninjas <laughs> and Star Wars Legos. They both, the Gaijo and Star Wars are like popular brands for the Legos, especially the Star Wars one. I mean, how can I go wrong with a miniature-sized Stormtrooper? You know, things of that nature. But um, other than that, that was happening, and then I totally forgot to do the podcast (laughs) and be a birthday off from work. So today, your boy took the time, took the day off from work, not because I needed the rest, which I actually did get, which was a blessing. But um, at the same time, I had went to this event out here in Lamar Park, California. They had like a gospel fest going on. And so one of my bros, you guys have seen him mention so many times about an artist. I go by the name of Cleotis Gray. I mean, his church ministry, they was performing, you know, one of the performers there. So I had went, and I'm going to tell you guys the backstory of how it happened. Last week, me and him talked. I forgot what he was talking about. And then he had told me about it and um, texted me the information. I was like, okay, cool. I'll try to get there. So I forgot about it. And then on Thursday night, yeah, Thursday. Now everything's coming back together. Thursday night, um, one of my homies from Alabama or Mississippi, Atlanta, one of the states, he had hit me up. There's a beat that I had did a couple years ago, and I sent it to the homie because he liked it. And he's like, "Hey man, I like to, you know do some stuff." And I said, "Okay, cool." So four years later, to today, he sent me the final production of the track that him and some other people was doing. So I was listening to it. I was like, "Man, that's dope." And so that happened, and then I was on my laptop looking for something, and then um, oh, I was working on working on the website, working on the website, adding read, added the videos, whatever, and things of that nature. Changed up the format. And so, I was doing that. And then after I had done that, I was just to this little mixtape of my homeboys who um, was Sony Music and whatnot. And he did this mixtape a couple, uh, back in 2011. So, let's see. Wait a minute, let me get that right. It's almost about seven years ago. Well, from December of B7. But yeah, almost like six, seven and a half years ago, <laughs> I did some radio drops. Because uh, I used to have an online radio station. I still do. I just need to get the program to actually start doing the DJing stuff again, which I do miss. So I did some radio drops for him and whatever off his little mixtape. And I had found out my laptop was happy, listened to it, hit my bro up. Oh, because I was um, on Instagram. And he has an uh, Instagram food page. So I take a look at his stuff, and I'm like, I wonder if I still got his mixtape on there. So I hit him up. I was like, hey, man, you know, I was just thinking about you, dog. So I came across your Instagram page and stuff like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, remember the mixtape you did? I said, bro, let me go ahead and sing you the fellas, man, because I still have it. And it was fun, you know, for the opportunity to do it. Send it to him. And he was one of the cats I used to network with, still network with back in the day, too. So that happened. Then the homie Cleotis hit me up. Actually, I hit him up and everything. Um, something that, you know, we need to go ahead and link up so we can talk more about, you know, push his, his music to the front four and things of that nature. I'm a music producer, but I kind of see myself easing over tourists and manager type side things, like how Dre and him is doing. So it comes with the territory. <laughs> and um, after that, the homie was like, He's like, um, he said, sure, we can link up. Then he told me about the event that's happened on Saturday. I said, oh, man, thank you for reminding me. So 
Flash forward to today. Took the time off. Went there, got there just in time. Other performances was happening, but it was cool because it's right in my element. Saw my old boss. I used to work at this place called Chaos Networks. If you guys never heard about them, I'll say look them up. Um, it's basically like, I would say like a music fellowship of artists, videographers, things of that nature. And this cat by the name of Mr. Ben Codwell, which I truly appreciate him giving me the opportunity to do an internship with him back in 2008. I think from March to June. So it was like a little short internship, but it was fun though. It was fun, especially at the Beat Ciphers. <laughs> it was, and it actually during that time in 2008, it was what it was when I was really getting into music production. Even though my beats wasn't really hot enough, a whole lot of folks that heard my earlier beats, it's like, dude, you ready? <laughs> you know, but to myself, I was like, nah, I'm not ready because I'm listening to other producers and things. I'm like, they stuff sound cleaner and tighter, so you know, I'm still learning. So, like I said before, when the opportunity arises, and I think I mentioned this last week about if opportunity arises and you still work at a job, whatever, sometimes you're going to need to call off to go ahead and support, you know, one of your own and things of that nature. But at the same time, while you're doing that, you see other opportunities that comes up. So that was the blessing right there that came with it. So when that happened today, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm in my element. I'm in my element of linking up with other people inside of music and me having an ear as well because you do a little bit of A&R work. <laughs> A&Rs are, they search for new talent and they present the new talent to, you know, different industries and things of that nature. So part of my A&R thing that I used to do back in the day had kind of came out and I was looking at the people that was there and the spirit of things like telling me, it's like, you're going to be working with some of these people. Just get yourself established first, and then you're going to link back up with them. And, you know, make things happen with them. And I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. And last night, this cat by the name of Postman for LiveAllBase.com, he have a new course, audio course out, where he explained, you know, for music producers and everything, but I can still use it for the artists, stuff like that. But he explained the music publishing and things of that nature. Now, mind you, I've been trying to study music publishing and ask different people, and the people gave me different. They try to get the best explanations, but they really kind of understand what music publishing is. I know a little bit, so the audio that I had invested in is going to teach me more, which is a blessing because I need to get a new portable hard drive like I, need, like I should have got last time. <laughs> so once I get that, then I'll be reorganizing my catalog of music that I have um, a beats I created and so and sorry get ready so everything I see happening now is moving forward moving forward and like I had mentioned on week 60 of the what's called a podcast and stuff I was like hey opportunity arises you got to go ahead and take it so I took today's opportunity to actually support my bro but at the same time um, record his performance or off of his social links and then, you know, I'll go ahead and do the promote part of it, which is not easy if you don't got that many followers. But the more you continue to push out, push out, push out, the more followers you get. So we have a goal for him. And he tried to get to a certain amount of followers and he needs to get. I tell him, I said, you can surpass that. This needs it for you to get inside the studio, put a track out, one track that we're working on. We do the gospel one, do the RB one, whatever. Do whichever, whatever one hits first, bam. That's it, go get your followers. So... We're going to make it happen. <laughs> Tell me we're going to make it happen. And um, I've been working with this cat since 2014. We used to work at the same job I used to work at. So, you know, it's been, I'll put way, the journey has been, you know, some ups and downs here and there. You know, you, you get on pace of something and things kind of slow down, whatever. But it comes with the territory. And so, I didn't even trip off that. I didn't go to work today, whatever, because I did something that was part of my career, my element that I know is going to make me way more money and make my kids and my family way more money in the future than what I'm doing over at the well, over working at the airport. That's hands down. Music is everlasting and trust me, if you own your masters to your music, which means which means that you know you fix up uh, you create the tracks and things, you know, do the copyrights and stuff like that and you can shop around with different people 
to your own self while while I have somebody else come in and they own your masters. Like the folks, give Prince a good example. Prince own his masters, but Warner Brothers own it because he did all the production over the Warner Brothers run Warner Brothers Studio. So since they own his material, you know, it's still some legal disputes with Prince Estate and Warner Brothers in regards to who owns what. So for those music producers or whatever who listen to this, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, or even if you're an independent artist, make sure you own your own masters. And if you work for somebody, make sure you guys come to agreement to have a 50-50 split of owning the masters. So that way, both of you guys get continue to eat, which means continue to get paid royalties and things of that nature for what has been created. Because the music industry, if you go inside that route with Sony and them, they will own the masters because they don't want to put in the money. They don't want to put in the investment up to get you going. And the way you get the millions of dollars from doing that industry, you got to make a certain amount of sales. And since music streaming online is very major now, it's very key. That right there could get you some money too. But um, with that, you got to have a certain amount of listeners and downloads in order to get paid. I mean, it's, I'll tell you right now, music production business and things of that nature is very different. You really have to study it. But it always keeps changing every each and every day. Nothing stays the same. Some things stay the same, but not everything. And this is the sounds of South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> On the other side of the street and everything. In my neighborhood is very peaceful, very quiet. But other than that, because the reason why I don't have the music up on the background right now is um, it must be traffic out there. That's just why they hunk an over like that. If you ever came, if you ever come to California and you drive on the street of Western, I'm telling you right now, around this time, traffic is very bad. <laughs> and I mean, very bad going up straight down Western. So if you try to get to over here because you know somebody, Make sure y'all do the little shortcuts, because if not, as y'all heard in the background, be caught up in the traffic right there, where the ambulance try to get on through, stuff like that. So yeah, but other than that, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with this podcast. This is week 50, wow, my bad, not week 51, week 61, sessions 291 to 295 for, um... Let me see if I can find the date. I think it's July 24th or something like that. Let me check. Because I did it earlier this morning and I had messed up because one of my bros had gave me a call. <laughs> so, so yeah. Once he had gave me a call, the funny thing is uh, the podcast thing had recorded the whole phone conversation. So I was like, let me delete this podcast. Because <laughs> the stuff that's mentioned in the phone conversation was all about the music. But it's not supposed to be, um, whatchamacallit, not supposed to be recorded out. Okay, so this is for the week of July 31st through August 4th. So let's go ahead and get on with the show. So on July 31st, 2017, Bless Money, as I said, as the month of July ends and August is over the horizon, my question to you is this. Did you accomplish your goals this month or did you let them pass you by? Think about that and create new opportunities in August. That's what blessed Mondays, July 31st. Let's jump to August 1st, 2017 on Grind Tuesdays. Life is just like concrete, where there are many broken holes and needs filling in. Since it's a new month, what holes are you going to accomplish that will make this month the best month ever? Think about it. Now, the reason why I had the Monday and Tuesday, because I did earlier this morning and my mind was still waking up. So everything's all, come, everything's all over the place. But the reason why I had mentioned um, both for what you call it, both for Monday and Tuesday, you know, for August and everything in regards to opportunities in a new month and what you're going to do and fixing the broken holes and things of that nature and what you didn't accomplish in July that you accomplished in August. The reason being, it's like I came with the introduction on this podcast. I said. When the opportunity arises, go ahead and take it. Regardless if you ain't got something fixed or situated, just go ahead and take it because you never know where it may take you. So my question to you guys is this. Wherever you did accomplish in July, go ahead and accomplish it this month in August. Why? Because even though it may be on August 5th and turn to August 6th, like, 
I, I kid you not. Just doing what I love, the day went by quicker than when I would do if I was at work this morning. If I was at work this morning, day probably go by kind of slow. Since I was not at work this morning, and I'm looking at my watch, and it's now um, about say three fifty, three about five fifty, or seventeen fifty in Army time, PM, close to six o'clock. I'm like, wow, the day went by pretty fast. <laughs> On a Saturday, because you normally work, normally at my job on a Saturday, you don't go by fast, kind of go slow at around 2 o'clock-ish, and whatever. But other than that, it's like, wherever, it's like you still got time this month to do great things. And so wherever you're going to accomplish in the month of August, you need to go ahead and start picking up the ball right now. I was talking to my grandparents and everything, so I to my grandmother, I said, you know what, you'll talk to the homie too, I said, you know what, I said, I see God moving. Another good friend of mine, I said, I see God moving because I was talking to God beginning of this month. I was like, the situation, you know, I'm in at my job, whatever, because there's a whole lot of changes that's not good that's happening over my job. At the same time, I'm trying to get out from there because it's too much, like I mentioned in a couple of other podcasts, too much spiritual crap that's going on that really makes the job very uncomfortable. To the point where my whole attitude and everything shift completely the opposite of what I'm speaking on right now. It goes to the other part where you're up in the grit and the grind. Some of you guys might be saying, well, you're making money. Yeah. But why make money somewhere where you're not happy at? You know, where you're miserable at. Because of the bull crap that comes along with it. So, but what I told my grandparents and them and stuff like that, I said, you know what I said? I see God working. Because my mom talked to him about, you know, really want to get back into the music thing or whatever. Like, really dive deep in, not dive deep into it, but, you know, what, how, 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 I put it away, how I used to be hungry to make the success and make the changes, you know, creating the beats and things of that nature, but also still learn in the process. So I see God working, and there's people that I network with that still network to this day. I've been knowing about six, seven years, and eight years, and nine years, and ten years, whatever. You know, they hitting me up with some stuff that we did back in the past, and I'm like, yo, and the, and the passion part that I've been waiting for it to come back, it's coming back. Actually, it came back. So my energy level said, whoop, and I'm like, it, let's go. It's time to get everything on and cracking up and running. Period. So I'm super excited to what we're doing. And just these past couple of days, if I'm not mistaken, I think Thursday, August 3rd, is where things like bam, 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 bam. Then Friday, whoop, today, whoop. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen this week. I'm off days on Monday and Tuesday, you know, because I'm going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to see what's going to be happening on Monday and Tuesday. That's going to be very exciting because it's going to truly be a blessing to what is going to happen. And so with that, I'm like, let's go. It's time to get the ball rolling. And the reason why I want to get the ball rolling is because I want to do major big things this month. I want to fly out of California again this month to go to New York for other reasons. And then I want to, you know, next month, which is September, I want to do big things and fly out to Atlanta so I can link up with my bros I'm networking with. And then in October, go back to Vegas for the gaming convention that they have out there so I can promote the game that you push to the casinos. That's a different story. I might probably have to hold that back a little bit. Well, we'll, we'll like I said, we'll see how do well in this month. And then November comes up. I want to spend time with uh, the missus and everything for my birthday. And then December, you know, all the good stuff. So it's a whole lot of things that I want to do. And I know I need to put my work, my foot in this month and everything. So I'm going to let you guys know right now. I've been busy this whole morning. Well, woke up, called off, went back to sleep. Which was the best I've ever had. <laughs> Woke back up, made some phone calls, went out to the event and everything, 
neck wear a little bit. Talked with a homie a little bit. Met up with my old boss over the place that I was working at a little bit. Met the PR people that my boy is working with because they heard about me. So they now met me face to face. So that was a blessing. Met them. And then after that, uh, let me see. And then um, after that and everything, came back home a little bit. Now I'm doing the podcast. So you guys see how the entrepreneur, motivational speaker side, enemies production side, and other side that I be doing, it's like bam, 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 bam. This is the type of work that I love to do. <laughs> Why? Because it's stress-free and plus I could control, you know, what actually pops off. It's not like when I'm at a job where the boss says one thing and you, and you know the boss is wrong in every aspect. But you don't want to clap back because they'd be like, well, you can get you fired. But then you don't want to clap back and be like, well, mother effer, um, I can go ahead and just quit today and with the woo. Sometimes you got to humble yourself. Stay quiet, just laugh, walk out, and just think about your purpose and everything. That's what you guys need to continue to do this month. Think about what it is you want to accomplish. Think about your purpose and go ahead and knock it out of the ballpark. Make it happen. You still have time this month. Do not let this month go by past you to where September rolls up. And the parents are happy because all the kids are going back to school. But at the same time, you're not accomplishing what you want to accomplish. This year is almost over. I told the homie um, after, you know, him and his group performed. I said, bruh, I already see it. Great things are happening. But we're going to need to smash this month hard in order to, you know, get to where we need, get to where God wants us to be. And then continue on from there. He was like, he's ready. I'm like, I'm ready. And the funny thing is, some of the little stuff that he was working on, like his t-shirts and things, and then they chair, he got some new people that's inside the crew that got the t-shirts and stuff done. You know, I mean, he was trying to work on that at Vegas, got it done out here, so God is good. I'm looking like, bro, you got the shirts? I'm like, you got the stuff? I'm like, man, like, that's what's up. <laughs> you know, so everything all comes together. And when I was talking to him, I said... Um, I said, bro, I already know you see me as a music manager, kind of. I can tell. And things of that nature. I'm, I'm being humble while I'm saying it. So he was like, he was like, yeah, man. He was like, yeah. He was like, I can tell. I see, I said, I've been running away from it, but now I've been kind of embracing it. I said, you know what? Music is everlasting. It's going to be part of that business I'm going to have to do. Then, hey, I'm going to just do it a little bit differently than from the war stories I heard of other folks who are, you know, who are, music managers and things of that nature that kind of screw the artists over. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to try to do it to the point where everybody eats, where if I had to cut part of what I'm making just to, you know, make sure my artists are fed, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that, you know, because blessings still go come back anyways. So what's the point on trying to, um, what you call it? screw somebody over and things of that nature. Nah, it's no point in doing that. You know, that's the reason why I'm trying to do other stuff in between so I can always have some backups. So whatever else you're doing too that you love to do, make sure you have a backup of different businesses or different venues that you want to get into. So just in case one kind of turns sour, you got something to fall back on and then you can fix the one that's sour and make it back great again. So let's continue on with the rest of the show. (laughs) <laughs> and get down with other topics. So for motivational Wednesdays, August um, August second, two thousand seventeen. I said this month grind, this month shine, this month take action, this month handle your effing business before the year ends. Make your goals and dreams happen. Period. Well, I basically just said what needs to be said for the Monday Tuesday part. So. Everything I just said about you guys taking care of handling your business, taking your dreams, as I just said a couple minutes ago, it applies to motivation on Wednesdays as well, too. So we got that out the way. Let's continue on. So for Daily Tips Thursdays on August 3rd, 2017, I said it's always good to stay connected to your network of friends who are in the same or various business, various different businesses, for you never know what a great different, um, let me rephrase that. I botched the hell out of that. My apologies. So for August 3rd, 2017, Daily Tips Thursdays, it's always good to stay connected to your network of friends who are in the same or various different businesses, for you never know when a great opportunity will come from. We mentioned that earlier in the beginning of this podcast. 
about taking an opportunity and run it with it. So I'm going to say it back again. When the opportunity arises or if you network with different people that became good friends in your life and you still connected with them and they got different things popping up but they offer you an opportunity and I had different opportunities happen to me before from the folks that I network with and things of that nature. I'm going to tell you right now, stay with that network of friends, even they in a different country or a different state, because you never know when the big one may come to where they may be like, hey, I need your help with something. Woo, woo, woo. This is what's happening. They give you the details. You like what's going on. Cool. Y'all make it happen. Big payout for everybody. And then the greater big things start to pop up. So I'm telling you guys right now, get on your networks. And get with the opportunities, because when it really goes said and done, it's truly going to be a blessing. It's truly going to be a blessing. So let's continue with the last part of this. So on August 4th, 2017, Boss said it's Fridays, I said it's good sometimes to find that inspiration from your past. The reason? The past will show you the stage where you was very into your goals and dreams to the point that you finally remember your purpose. I mentioned that earlier. By the mention in the way I just said it right now. I know sometimes I said sometimes it's not good to go back to the past. But let me rephrase that. Certain parts of the past where you was grinding so hard that you believe you was close to your goals and your dreams. To the point where life happens, it shifts everything and you slow down for a couple years. It happens. It's life. But at the same time. It's always, some, I'll put it this way, a memory of the past. Whatever you did with you was grinding before, it will come back. You guys heard me say it earlier in the podcast. August 3rd, Thursday night, the bro hit me with a track that me and him worked on. I listened to it, bam. I go on Instagram. One of my homeboys from the ATL got a food page. Bam. I remember the mixtape I did for him because one of the songs came to my head. Bam. Found the album, bam. Took a look at the at the year 2011, which was one hell of a year. Getting from like right now, from the summer of like, let me see, the summer of 2011, getting to like around December, things in that nature. It was it was it, it was a crazy year because I was really grinding out on the DJ and stuff, the music production stuff, the try to. Uh, promote other people, other producers and other artists and things of that nature get the network flowing all of that and I didn't get paid doing none of that shit to be real with you guys but at the same time it was the passion I was doing because I felt very oh yeah in learning and growing inside of my own business so I was doing all of that before 2012 came up you know it's a blessing that we had the job that we're still working at right now but that job while I was working at Overnights, I kid you not, it killed my creativity to the core. Because when you work in graveyard shift and you have, put this way, you had to work graveyard shift before and you do the first couple of nights, it drains everything out of your body. So when that had happened, oh, let me see. So when, uh, so when that had happened, then, um, yeah, everything had truly everything had truly um went straight down and it was just like it 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 was crazy because 2013 was almost 2013 for me in regards to making music was very dark because i did not really have the creativity to try to create something i was just burnt the heck out straight up you know making cool money but burnt the heck out though so the creativity came back now, and I'm like, you know, and I'm like, yes, this is what's up. So after finding back the creativity and things on doing the music and stuff like that, like everything really came together to the point where, yeah, everything came back together to the point where things truly was just very beneficial to how... I used to do back in the day. So ladies and gents, once again, before I end the session, it's still, it's still a new month for you guys in the month of August. So what you guys need to do is to continue 
to push forward on your goals and dreams, to continue to make things happen, to continue to take opportunities by the bullhorns while you can, and to also continue to push. Remember the grind of your yesteryear. Remember the grind in the past. Remember what you used to love to do. And don't just be like, oh, well, I can't make a whole lot of money for it. I'm telling you right now, the moment you say you want to get back into doing what you used to do, that is legal. We talk about legal now. But whatever your passion, your goals, and your dreams that like you used to do back in, the, back in the day and it fell off, the moment you say you get back into it is more, it's a moment that God will, he will give you the answer. He won't give you the answer the day right there, but he'll give you the answer the next day or two days later. You never know. You just got to pay attention. Be aware. Because when he does give you the answer and somebody who you talk to says a certain thing, they might be like, bing, bam. Take the opportunity. Run with it. Trust in God. Let him handle that for you. Because at the end of the day, I kid you not, you're going to start see. I'm going to tell you. Just like how I woke up this morning, I said how this day went by fast. Saturday went by fast. I don't remember when I had a Saturday that ever went by quickly. So I'm just trying to tell you guys right now. Just like if this Saturday is almost over and I go back to work tomorrow, but I'll be off Monday and Tuesday, which is cool. I'm going to let y'all know right now. The moment you get back to your goals and your dreams and your passion is the moment things start to really formulate, work out. And I'm kid- and I kid you not, it will truly be a blessing in the long run. So, ladies and jets, from me to you, I then introduce myself. I go by the name of Quinn Moore, also known as Chinchilla Q, DJ Skylo, and Anaku07 of HipRockerProductionCM.com. And at the same time, me as producer, entrepreneur, work at different various businesses and things that you guys see me, hear me do and everything and stuff like that. So I just want to tell you guys this. Thank you for tuning in to week 61 of this podcast. And the reason why I think you guys are tuning in to this week 61 it's because even though it came late, you know what? And it come late. It came right at the right time. It came right at the right time with the opportunity of things is popping off. So I'm going to let you guys know, this month is still fresh. This month is still new. Get off your ass and make something happen today. Do not let it gag. Continue to push forward on your goals and your dreams. Continue to remember the yesteryear of your grind, which you had did. Bring that back. Make your dreams and goals realities happen for your family, for your kids, for your grandchildren, for their church children. Make it happen because this year is almost done and August will be going by pretty quick. By the time, you see, by the time this podcast is done, it's already going to be August 30th or 31st, whatever. So you guys want to make sure that you are on your grind, handling your business and making shit happen. All right. So with that, ladies and gents, thank God, thank you guys for tuning in to this podcast. And with that, your boy Chinchilla Q is gonna see you on Tuesday. We we'll probably go head back to Santa Monica. It might be Long Beach, I'm not quite sure. I mean, we did the Long Beach thing, but I will literally have to um, go ahead and what's gonna call it, get a bike so we can um, <laughs> go down to the side of Long Beach. I might be back over there. I might be back in Santa Monica. I'm not quite sure. But other than that, though, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning in to this podcast. So with that, your boys and chill Q saying peace, sight and hour, one love. Catch you guys on the flip side. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And catch you guys on Tuesday for the video podcast on Periscope by the head tagline of at Chinchilla Q21. So with that, peace out, one love. I'm out. Deuces.